Hey, so what is going on guys? So I have another video here to share with you on how to downgrade from Android Nougat and go back to Android Marshmallow. Maybe you're experiencing issues with Nougat and you just wanna go back to Marshmallow. So I have the Google Nexus 6 phone here and I did install Android Nougat on it. There you can see where it says about phone Android 7.0. If I go in here, there's my build number. So in order to flash the firmware back to Android Marshmallow, you have to go download the firmware first. So let's go to that page. What you do is go to Google, type in Nexus Factory Images, and then you wanna to go to this link right here to this website, which is the official page for the Nexus Factory Images. And you can see right here in the red, it says make sure that you back up all your data. So if you have done anything since you put Nougat on there, you might wanna back up your stuff because this is gonna completely wipe out the phone. We have to unlock the bootloader and then flash the old image back on. We're looking for the Nexus 6. So you look for the device that applies to you and you're gonna download from these links. So I'm going down to the Nexus 6, which is right here. So actually, if you wanted to, you could use the same process and go clear back to Lollipop if you wanted to. And uh, we're not gonna do that. So this is the only version of Nougat that was released for my phone. So all I'm gonna do is step back to this one right here which is gonna take me back to Marshmallow, which I've already done, uh, is download that link to a folder I created on my desktop. And I named it Nexus 6 over here. And when I downloaded that, I got a, it should download as a compressed file. And what you wanna do is extract that file using like WinRAR or 7-zip or something, and you'll get another folder created here with all the files and you need to flash back. So from there, you need your platform tools. So you wanna go in that folder, select all those, copy those, and paste those into the folder where you extracted all the files. So now you have all your files to work with there. And basically we can set the phone up now because we're about ready to go on the computer. So we wanna set our device up. So you gotta go into settings. We have to go into developer options. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and if you don't have developer options listed right here, you have to click about phone, scroll down and click the build number five to seven times. And it will tell you that you are now a developer. If you, and then if you click back, you'll have the options here. So you just select developer options, make sure that you turn on the developer options, you come down, you wanna turn on OEM unlocking. So I'm going to enable OEM unlocking turn that one on, and then you need to turn on USB debugging. Turn that one on as well. That will allow the two, your phone to communicate with the computer. Once those are on, you're gonna get a notification at the top. In Android Nougat, it shows up as like an N up there. So you wanna choose the option here that says more options and choose file transfers, okay? So now we're ready to communicate with the phone so let me minimize that again and now over here in this directory you want to hold the shift key down on your keyboard and somewhere down here in the white area right click on your mouse and choose this selection here it says open command window here and we want to check to make sure our computer sees our phone so adb this is what you want to type in there adb space devices click enter and it will show us a list of devices attached and this one comes up and says unauthorized. And the reason for that is because you're going to get a prompt and it will show something like this saying an RSA key, uh, key fingerprint. And what you wanna do, that's another layer of security is select yes and tell it okay. And then to verify, I always do run that command again, basically. So type in ADB devices one more time, just to see that the device is showing up normally and it no longer says unauthorized. So now it looks like we're ready to start the process. So what you wanna do is type in from the home screen on the phone, type into the command window, ADB reboot bootloader, and that's gonna get us into bootloader mode. Bring the phone back up, I'll show you guys. Down here at the bottom, you're looking for uh, this part where it says device is locked. Okay, we want that to say device is unlocked. So in order to unlock our bootloader, we have to type a command in. So type in fastboot OEM unlock 
hit enter. You're going to get a message coming up on the screen if you look down there at the phone. Basically just a warning to continue through, press power, and then another warning about, you know, this might void your warranty, but as long as you guys are careful doing this and you backed up all your stuff, you should be good. What you can do is use your volume up key to select yes, and then press the power button. And that'll, what that'll do is let me bring the phone back up. You'll see now down here, device is unlocked. Okay, so now we're ready to actually flash the factory image of Android Marshmallow. So if I slide the command window over, all I need to do is double click this file that says flash dash all dot bat. If you double click that, it will start the process. And now you can see it's flashing the firmware onto the phone. So what this will do is continue through this to the end. And then when it's all finished, I'll get the phone booted back up here to the welcome screen. You basically just restart the phone. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so we are back here. And down at the bottom of the command window, you can see it says press any key to exit. It finished. And originally when it finished there, it just popped up on the screen here and said Google and showed a little lock down here, which was unlocked. Just showing that the bootloader is unlocked. Okay, guys, so we're booting up to the welcome screen here. I'm going to jump through this part of it and get to the home screen. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back at the home screen. I'm going to go ahead and go in here, go to settings. We're going to take a look at the, the build number and about phone. So scroll down to about phone. There is my Android version 6.0.1, and there is my build number. So I am back on Android Marshmallow. And the only other thing you'd need to do is relock your bootloader, but you really don't have to. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I'll put a, there's going to be a video in the link uh, in the description below where you guys can click that link and go watch my other video on how to upgrade or install Android Nougat from Android Marshmallow, where I explain things a little more in detail. So that's all I had for you guys. I hope this helps some of you out who wanted to downgrade for whatever reason. If you guys like this video, please click that like button and share it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.